I definitely believe the Bible is literally true, just like one third of my fellow Americans. Some tutors like to give the kids the same stories over and over again, but I like to dig a little deeper and find fresh stories for the children. So, do you guys like stories about bears? Yeah, yeah! One day, the prophet Elisha was walking to Bethel, and he saw some children, like you guys. But the kids started yelling. Go away, bald head! Elisha was already in a bad mood because his friend had just gone to heaven in a tornado. So, he asked God to send down two bears to kill 42 children. And he did. The end. So, now which one of you is Daddy's little angel, huh? Me! Well, that's what Lot's daughters thought too, until real angels came to town. One day, Lot was finishing dinner with his daughters and some angels when all the men of Sodom came to his door. Lot went outside and was like, Hey, what's up, guys? Do you want some soup? They're all, No, we don't want your dumb matzo balls. We want to have sex with angels. But Lot's all, You guys can't have sex with angels, stupid. But look, I got two virgin daughters, so why don't you just have sex with them instead, yeah? But the men were all like, no! Angel sex is awesome! Anyways, God destroyed the whole city. And then Lot's daughters got him drunk in a cave and took turns having sex with him till they got pregnant. <laughs> is everything okay in here? Oh, super. Just taking final questions. Go ahead. What's the moral of the story? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. If you make fun of bald people or if you fornicate with angels, God will kill you with a bear or sulfur rain. Oh, no sex with dad. Unless he's drunken in a cave. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, um, I won't be able to come next week. I'll be having my menstrual impurity alone in the forest for seven days. I think that went really well. Hmm.